hopefully, I should be hearing myself in just a few moments. Go to here. Reload that. Reload that. Alright, let me open it. Do that thing. Hit the button. Um. Come on, I'm alive. There we go. Do we hear the game? There we go. Do we hear the game? No, no we don't. What the hell? What hell? Oh wait, no, because it doesn't kick in until after the screen? No, we don't. Yep. What the hell? Oh wait, no, because it doesn't kick in until after the screen. Yep, there it is. So how do I sound? Come on. All right, good. I sound fine. Uh, how's it going, everybody? It's Bad Bugs, and it's it's um you know I, I haven't played Crash in a minute. Uh, I was doing some spookier games, uh, Luigi's Mansion, Fallout for uh, for you know leading up to Halloween, but I just I, I can't leave Crash Bandicoot unfinished. I've left Spyro unfinished. I might one day finish it, hopefully, but I feel like I don't know. Like, Spyro three is easily my least favorite in the Spyro trilogy, so um. Maybe, maybe that one will be on ice for a little bit. Unless you guys want me to finish that. If you do, let me know in the comments of the uh, the VODs. Or let me know here in the, uh, you know, let me know here in the chat if you want me to finish Spyro 3. But, um, yeah, we're back with Crash Bandicoot 4. Did I already finish that level? Yes, I finished that level. Okay, good. Did I finish the Tauna one? We can do the Tauna one. Okay, we finished the Tauna one too. Alright, good, good, good. We're going, we're going back to these levels then. Um, Blast to the Past, we did. That one we did. We didn't do Dino Dash. Ooh, I do like Dino Dash. Let's order some Dino Dash, you guys. What do you guys want? I want some, uh, I could go with some Panda Express. Sardis. Sardis is good. I, I learned recently that Sardis is more of a regional thing. Um, it's, it's over, it's over in, like, my neck of the woods. It's, it's not, like, everywhere, you know? I, I, I was talking about Sardis, and I can't remember... I can't remember what, what I was playing when I was talking about I think it was Luigi's Mansion. Uh, but... No, no, it was Fallout. I remember, because I was walking through the woods in Fallout. Um... Yeah, I didn't know that Sardis was, like, an, an area thing. I thought, you know, everybody knows what Sardis is. No, no, that's... That's, that's here. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> I can ramble about food for a few minutes. Oh man, I really love this skin for Crash. Especially in these levels, it, 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 it's, it's so fitting. It fits. Oh god, I remember first playing this level. Because uh, this was one of the demo levels that they had, like when, when the demo for this game came out. And I just remember this game feeling a lot more like hard than, uh, than Crash 1 through 3. I'm like, okay, I've died to a lot of things already. Yeah, like that. That little fucker. He killed me a lot in the demo. Let me put it that this guy killed me a lot too. Is this game harder? I mean, harder by proxy of the levels being longer, yes. But I mean, like, are the enemies harder? Are the hitboxes harder than the original trilogy? Are they more unforgiving? You know, that's a, that's the question I would like to know. Oh God, hey, don't do that. Don't you do it? Don't do it, pal. Oh, thanks. Oh, boy. Before we really start cracking off, I'd like to say, uh, if you do want to follow me here, you can check me out on Twitch. Well, you can follow me here on Twitch. Check me out on YouTube. You know, same name, Batbugs. Twitter, same name, Batbugs. Uh, Kofi, you know, same name, Batbugs. If you want to send me a tip, that's cool. Like, comment, subscribe on those YouTube videos, and yeah, thanks. Thanks for hearing me out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, thanks for you know, doing what you can. I appreciate it. I don't trust these. Okay, yeah, you're 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 a bastard, aren't you? <laughs> I hate them. Ah, I don't know their movement pattern, and that's what keeps getting me. I think they make an L shape. Is what they're doing. Get out of here. How many times? Have... No, you're not getting me like that. Bad. Three times already. Doesn't matter. I don't really care. I don't really care. I'm fine. Eh. 
Okay. They make an L pattern. Just fuck you and your ass. Right, get him out of there. <laughs> you can't fool me. I am a... Nope. <laughs> I almost did it. You, you almost got me there. Cool. We're doing good. And then we do bop, bop, bop. And then we do bop, bop, bop. And then we see the dinosaur in the background being a whole ass dinosaur. Shit, I wish I hit those before because if I die here, I'm gonna have to do that every single time. You gotta plan around these things, kids. You gotta plan around these things. Yeah! Shit. Oh, he can get him. Yeah, yeah. You do that for me. Do my job. I really love the designs. Ah, they're so like, they're so cartoony and and like hard edged. It's like you know what I mean. Like um, I don't know. They give off Invader Zim like vibes. And I like that. You know, as opposed to just being I don't know a Looney Tune character. It looks a lot more angular, and I, I dig the angular aesthetic in, in Crash Four. Be God damn it! Being someone that grew up uh, on the originals, you know, I love Crash Bandicoot. I, my favorite game, my favorite video game character, still Crash or Smash, Crash or Smash Six. Um, or if they ever decide, you know, hey, it's been long enough, we're just gonna add it, like three more characters. Put them Crash in there. Just throw them in there. Anyway, uh, yeah, love the games. <laughs> Crash is my favorite video game character of all time. And uh, I just think this is the best incarnation of him. It's, it, you, you can do so much with this version of Crash. I'm just gonna go up here. I don't need to be there, but I'll just do it. Whoop. Mm hmm. Okay. So it's gonna be this one, I think. Yep. That's what I thought. Pop. And then the very opposite one. I, I enjoy the little dinosaur. He's watching me. He's, be, he's being a good boy. You just sit there and be a good little dinosaur, okay? Two, three, one, two. Oh, shh. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. <laughs> My timing was all messed. How is everybody doing today? If you're watching this, I, I like to ask. I don't know. Uh, if you're watching this on, uh, you know, on the VODs or on the original on the stream, just let me know. You know, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the in the chat. How's, how's, how's life treating you? Hopefully, all is well. Grab you. Oh, uh, I, I feel the need to say, right? While I want Crash in Smash, I'm not at all dissatisfied with how with how Smash ended. Sora's great. I, I've been I've played him. You guys, have, if you've watched the streams, you know I really like the way he plays. Oh God, I, I miscounted. Uh, I really enjoy the way Sora plays. Okay, I want to get those actually. In a little walk. So yeah, no, no, no. Like I'm not upset. Like all right, right. Um, as a whole package, looking at the two fighter passes, realistically, there's only been two characters that really hype me up, from, and that's from either pass. That's Banjo and Sora. Um, a few characters that I, I enjoy their playstyle, but it, it, I can live with or without them. I get why. Like I'm not saying I don't. I get why all the characters are chosen, right? I get why each and every one, like, uh, Hero is very legacy. I wish that Hero, I wish that all four of the Hero characters, like, their names were called by the announcer and they, and they, um, and they had, like, different names. Like, you know, the Koopa kids have different names, right? But that's a pedantic small thing. Um, but, uh, like, like, yeah, Steve and Enderman and Zombie and Alex, you know? But not the, not the Luminary, fuck, I, that, that, oh, I thought that was gonna kill me. 
Not the Luminary, um, Erdrick, etc, etc, etc. Uh... Yeah, I get why they're chosen. You know, new character in Joker, uh, old character, I mean, legacy character, rather, in, in, uh, in, in Hero. Um, Banjo is Nintendo legacy. Terry is, is really Sakurai's pick. And Sakurai deserves a pick at this point. You know what I mean? Fuck, in hell. <laughs> Sakurai deserves it at this point. He can he can do his, his, a little a little vanity thing for himself. You know that's that's fair. Also, I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, Terry's huge in Latin America, so that's a, that's a that's a part of like the Smash community that doesn't really usually get catered to. I feel so. I mean, I don't know. I don't have the hard data to say yeah they don't. You know, but it would fucking hell. It would seem like they don't. So, uh, and then, Pilot is Nintendo's character, so it makes Nintendo one a Nintendo character in Nintendo video game. Min Min, I feel, I feel like Min Min pro went over better. I feel like Pyro and Mither went over better than Pilot. Like, and I've, I've said this before, I feel the main issue, the main big issue, the core issue, if you will, with Pilot, was that we went a long time, like, few months, right, and, and, and we were kind of getting antsy, and we're like, okay, where's that Smash reveal, huh, where's that Nintendo Direct, and we're starting to, the cracks were starting to show, we didn't have that, because that, that was the beginning, right, um, of, of, uh, the year without a Direct, and we were like, real, we were like, this is weird, right, this feels weird, lord did we not know the hell that we were about to endure, <laughs> but, um, that was the beginning of that. And like, um, and the fact that we didn't know, like, going into the the Sakurai, this is the first time, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for Smash Ultimate. I, I don't know the the like cycle for for Smash Four. I wasn't really following the cycle. I had the game, of course. I just didn't really care about the deal for Smash Four, so I didn't really follow it. But for Smash Ultimate. That was the first time that we'd like gone in completely blind to a to a Sakurai. Uh, whatever. Yeah, we're moving on. Um, that was the first time we we'd gone in without knowing, right? Like they usually announce the they usually announce them in the direct, show a, show a trailer, get us all hyped. Then we have the Sakurai presents, and I feel like that was originally the intent. But because no direct happened, he was just like, alright, hold on, we got it, we had a little cutscene here. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, if it isn't Lani Loli, how are you, brother? Uh, sorry to interrupt, but existence could end at any minute, so can we hurry? Uh, when's existence ever done anything for anyone anyway? Oh, don't mind Grumpy, Gus. He's always a downer. Yeah, don't mind me. I don't matter. Nothing matters. Now that we found Ika Ika, that's all for. What's next? We can't close the rifts until we stop whatever's opening them. That would be entropy and his precious rift generator. <sighs> Sounds like it's time to kick some entropy butt. <laughs> I just, I hope you guys can't hear my PS4, because it sounds like it's about to, you know, take off into the night sky and, and land in, uh, in Istanbul or something. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, like I was saying, we, um, we got, we went in completely blind, didn't know anything, and we were, our, our expectations were pretty high because it was the end of the first pass, so you're like, okay, it's gonna be someone big end off this, this pass. And, um, I mean, to some people, yeah, Bylos is pretty big. Uh, to some people, that's, that's a pretty huge reveal, you know, but, like, it's also the fact that if you if you look at all the other trailers, right, if they're big enough, they don't really need to. Like, Joker's trailer is primarily... It, it, it's, a, it's a... There's actually a certain style of, of, uh, of reveal, right, where it's a... a fake-out reveal, where... It feels like you're watching a, a trailer for the game, right? And then you see the Smash envelope or a Smash Bros something, and you're like, oh, this character's coming to Smash. That's the fake out. 
Joker was a fake out. He, you see, um, or Isabel was actually, I think Isabel was like one of the first fake outs, or at least one of the earlier ones, where like we saw, we saw what we thought was a new Animal Crossing game being announced, and then she had the Smash envelope, and you're like, oh shit, Isabel's in Smash. What's this cutscene? Crikey! I love Dingo Dial. Oh, this is pre-rendered. If I was here to fight, you'd be cactus. He's with what me. does that mean? Found him lost out there. Caught him up on the whole time space, you know, thing. Yeah, just trying to get home. I was enjoying the retarded life, see? Got it. Our bad guys had a change of heart too. Bad guy? Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, it's nitrous oxide. Entropy. Take your ship to planet Bermugula and be on the lookout for ships approaching the rift generator. We can't afford any unwanted visitors. At once! Your foulness. You manage our affairs with such poise. Naturally. As do you. I don't like I don't like this. I yeah, I'm uncomfortable too, Oxide. <laughs> oh, not the lip bite. Please no. <laughs> I just love Dingo Dog. He's, he's vibing. He's having a good time. Oh, uh, <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, I might want to go back to get that tape from the last level. But uh, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Uh, all oh, right, the fake out reveal. So yeah, you think you're watching some? You think you're watching a trailer for the game in question? And then all of a sudden, the smash, the smash and bike gets, uh, you know, shown. And you're like, okay, that's what's happening here. And Violet feels like, yeah, that that could have, in theory, worked. Yes, if it were like, if it were not for the fact that we already knew it was a smash reveal. You know what I mean? We already knew going in what we were seeing was going to be a smash reveal because it was during a Mr. Sakurai presents. It wasn't during a Nintendo Direct. I died because I just froze. Um, if it were, if it were like a uh, a, a Nintendo Direct, that could have worked as like a a, a, a a fake out. I don't think people would have liked it, but it would have been like, oh, all right, whatever, it's pilot. As opposed to the vitriol that we had, because like it felt like we'd gone a long time, and then like you have that that oh, who could it be? Who <laughs> who could it be? Like. It, it, it's a tease almost, you know what I mean? And for people that are, uh, fuck me, depth perception is off today. People that are into, to, uh, god damn it. And for people that are into Fire Emblem, that's a huge thing. And I don't fault them for being into it. I don't fault them for, like, being annoyed with how, how many people are, like, are always bringing up Byleth as, like, being annoying. But you just gotta understand where we're coming from. <laughs> like, just understand, you know what I mean? Every other character, even if I don't personally care for them, I can see why they're there. I'm, I'm just going on about Smash Bros. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, that's how I feel about it, you know? And uh, I didn't even go over the second fighter pass. Basically, uh, didn't care for the most part for most of them, except for, like, Sora. Cause Sora was Sora is a character that I'm really familiar with, and that that really spoke to me. You know, the when the um when Timbal and Clean started started kind of welling as he was floating through the uh, the keyhole. I, I like it took a while, right? Cause like I'd seen it, and I was I was I was really hyped all day because of it. But then I watched a bunch of like reactions because as I do, as you do, you know, you see people posting reactions, and then I saw one in particular that just oh I started I started welling up. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, anywho, that long, that long roll about Smash Bros. aside, this is the best game ever. No ifs, ands, or buts, alright? This is not an argument. It's not a conversation, this is just a fact. It's a fact of life. Crash Bandicoot's great. Kabam! Alright, cool. Uh, kabam! I have to say kabam, otherwise I wouldn't have done it right. 
Uh, 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 okay. We're doing good. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And then this is gonna happen. Oh, okay. Tractor beam. Why would the tractor beam have been able to hold the Hey, cheap cow. I want to see more of like nitrous oxide outside of like if they were to make a new, uh, a new crash racing game. I would love to see just more of them in like you know as as the villain in like oh god more traditional crash games. I know he was in the uh, the phone game, but come on, you've got to understand that phone games. Just no one cares about them. Like I, I played, I played the crash, the crash room game for a bit. It's fine. It's, it's fucking Temple Run. It's fine. But um, I would much rather have a Crash Bandicoot game than a Crash Bandicoot mobile game. And that goes for any game. Like I don't care. You might have the best franchise for a mobile thing. I don't give a shit. All right. I would rather have a controller than a phone. <laughs> I keep dying, you guys. You guys have to promise, you won't judge me. Alright, don't roast me about this. Like, like please. I thought we were cool. At, at the best, right? At the best. Mobile games are a good momentary distraction. <laughs> Like, I can't be invested in a mobile game. The way I'm, I'm invested in this right now. Hello, buddy. Which is why when people were saying, like, the Angry Bird for Smash, I'm just like, Look, you guys can want who you want, but, like, is, is this seriously? Is this seriously what we're talking? Like, I know that people were joking about it. I know there were people that were joking about it. But, like, there were also some people that were serious. And I'm like... This is really what you want? Okay. Oh, fucking hell. No. Get out. Beat it. Um. I guess not. So, let's go. And you know what? I would even go as far as to say Angry Birds might be the best mobile game but that's not saying a whole whole lot <laughs> I played Adventure Capitalist for a long fucking time and it's just like it's such a non game that like I, I just I, I had to delete it because it was just not like fun it was just okay I get to see the number go up you know what I mean <laughs> It's it's literally just cookie clicker without the cookies. Which, I mean, even cookie clicker, again, I'm just seeing the number go up. Like, I click the thing, number goes up. Now we have ways to automate it so number goes up automatically while I'm away. Cool. It's, it's a factory sim without building the factory, if that makes sense. Eh, I just, I don't like mobile games. I like a little bit more game in my game. I... What did that activate? Alright, hold on, hold on. Here's what we're gonna do, right? 32. Oh, yeah. Alright, fair enough. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, I thought I hit them. 1, 1, 2. Okay, yep, and there we go. Cool. We don't even have to go back. That's awesome, dude! 
Hello. You attempted. Oh god. You made a stronger attempt. I respect you. But I'm still gonna kill you. What's that thing from the Raimi Spider-Man movie? Uh, don't wound what you can't kill. From possibly the worst one, actually. Spider-Man 3. Which, look, ah! <laughs> okay, okay. Um, that might be why I'm not a huge fan of the Raimi Spider-Man movies, because I started with 3. Like... Or, look, it wasn't my... And the same thing with the X-Men movies. Like, my first... Like, I've seen clips of... I'd seen, like, snippets of uh, the first one on TV. Because, you know, it was not a big thing back in the day. It wasn't a thing back in the day. <laughs> YouTube just wasn't a thing back when I was a kid. And, um... And those movies were coming out. And, uh... Thanks, dude. You did my job for me. Oh, God. I didn't kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I don't even need to. I'm gonna kill you. But, um... Yeah. I, uh... I, um... Catch little snippets here and there. I think it would come on Fox because it was a Fox property. I think. I might be wrong. But I would see it every now and again. I'd be like, okay. This is interesting. I didn't like the... I, I didn't like that it was so... Boring. Color aesthetic-wise. It was just so drab. You know what I mean? And the fact that they, like... I, and I didn't know this at the time. Right? But, like, I could pick up on the fact that it was just a dour movie. And, um, they didn't have their, you know, their traditional, like, outfits and they had the black leather. I'm just like, that's boring. What the fuck? And then, like, later down the line, I saw what, the, like, the X-Men actually looked like in comics. And I'm like, why wasn't it this? Why was it never the yellow and blue? This looks so cool, you know what I mean? And vibrant and neat. But, um... Yeah, I, I, I seen the first one, uh, but like the first movie I actually, like the first X-Men movie I ever saw, and I know this is a tangent on a tangent, but like the first X-Men movie I'd ever seen in theaters was X3, the one where, uh, like the one universally no one likes, and I'm like, okay, these movies are trash. Um, I still don't like X2 as much as everybody's like, oh, this is the best one. Why the hell does that guy keep killing me? Let me just avoid him. Uh, like, I still don't like X2 as much as everybody does. Because, like, it, it's just... I don't know. I like my comic book movies that have comic book villains. You know what I mean? Big over-the-top villains. And Bolivar Trask just wasn't that for me. He was just a dude. You know what I mean? It, I get, like... I get it's it's supposed to be serious and, wow, it's powerful. I don't really care about that. I, I want to have fun with comic book movies. Um... Which is why the Dark Knight movies never ended up for me. They were kind of pretentious. They were kind of pretentious, and in, in in like the the characters didn't really speak. They uh, they all kind of spoke in like in parables and in, in quotes, and they were trying to be deep all the fucking time, and they they never fucking turned off. You know what I mean? There was never. It, it felt like you were never like watching a person go through something. It felt like you were you were uh. You were just going through, uh, some people just want to watch the world burn. Fucking bullshit like that. Like, the quotes all the fucking time. And I'm just like, ah, it, it, it's not what I'm, I'm, I'm here for, you know? And that's why the Marvel movies, I love the Marvel movies. Because they just, they feel like people, you know? They, they have quips every now and again. They have fun. They're like, they, they like, they enjoy themselves when they fucking can. They're serious when they need to be. It, and that's what I enjoy, you know? And DC just never gets that. They all, like, now they're going super dour with their stuff. I mean, with the main stuff, at least. Because you have, like, you have, like, James Gunn's Suicide Squad, which is fucking great. Like, that movie is fucking awesome. But then you also have, like, the Snyder Cut, which is heralded. And I'm just like, this is four hours of my life that I'm just never going to get back. And I, 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 I wish. I wish that I could just take it back by force. <laughs> I watched that movie. I watched that piece of shit. I don't like that movie. It was a waste of four hours of my life. Like, if you were to ask me which version of Justice League was better, I will tell you straight up the Whedon version. The Whedon version, right? Joss Whedon may be a horrible person. Because it is what it seems like, right? I don't know. I don't know him. But, like, the allegations are kind of stacking up. But his version of Justice League is better. It's, it's, it's overall, like, 
it's paced very well. It's it, it's fun. You know what I mean? Like the jokes are corny, sure, but it's I can I like it. They're they're still like in a way. You know how you like crack a smile at dad jokes? You're like, okay, that was fucking stupid. That's how I feel when I'm watching the original cut of Justice League. That's how it felt in theaters. It was fun. I had fun. Like the whole uh, when. Uh, when Superman has, has him, he quotes the, do you bleed? And it's so dark and edgy. It's like fucking Batman v Superman, which a friend of mine fell asleep on in the theater. Um, and then, like, moments later, Batman's like, yep, something's bleeding. Like, that's fucking, that's fun. Come on. <laughs> that's fucking cute. All right. If you ask me which version of the movie I would rather watch at any given time, it's going to be the, the Whedon version. 